Hey, what is going on? Hey, it's Nick again. And I just want to show you how to add featured listings to your KW agent consumer site and your app. That's right. You can add featured listings to your app and it shows up in a really cool way. That's a huge value proposition uh, to your, to your clients. So let's jump right in. We are in consumer settings. And we're going to go right over here to site and app settings. Now you're going to see featured listings in the middle, right? And you, if you click that, you might not see anything here. You might not see, um, you know, featured listing configuration. You might not see any of this stuff. And if you don't, here's what you have to do first. You have to go to learn more with Kelly guide. So click that. And then you're going to want to click consumer settings, click continue. Then you're going to want to click the get started button on the next page, right? Then you're going to want to click the next button. You may have to scroll down because uh, like I did, I didn't see it at first. So I scrolled down and then I saw the next button. When you click next, you're going to be brought to um, a new Kelly guide for client settings and you're going to want to follow the prompts here for featured listings. Now, I'm not going to take you through that whole thing because it's very self-explanatory. So just keep going through, uh, through the different steps. And when you're complete, you're going to go back. Um, you're going to go back to, oops, you're going to go back to uh, consumer settings within command. So when you go back there, what you're going to see is when you click on featured listings, you're going to then see, um, an option to choose listings. Now, let me delete some of these because this is how it's going to look. It's going to look like this, okay? So it's just going to look like this when you go back. After you go through the Kelly Guide and you go back to consumer, go back to um, site and app settings and go to featured listings, this is what you're going to see. And you're going to be able to give your featured listings a header. Now, the header appears in um, uh, on your site and also appears on your app. So I'm going to call this beautiful new listings. Now, if they're your listings, you could say our beautiful new listings or my beautiful new listings. Okay. Um, but I'm just going to call it beautiful new listings because I'm going to choose listings that aren't mine right now. So I'm going to select uh, listings. And if you have listings, obviously it'll show up here, but I'm going to do all listings and I'm going to uh, search by city. All right. So let's do, Montclair, New Jersey. Okay, perfect. So actually, yeah, this is Montclair, New Jersey. Great. You can do city, you can do zip. I'm actually going to do zip just in case because uh, that's going to be a little bit more accurate. Okay, so let me select a few. So I'm going to select this because it's beautiful. This, I'm originally from Montclair. It's a beautiful neighborhood. I love it. This, uh, this and this and um done let me actually i think i want to choose a few more let's choose a few more let's do 07003 which is bloomfield new jersey um actually let's do let's do city this time bloomfield okay good, good here we go so there's more bloomfield listings coming up all right, so let's pick, this is nice, this is nice. Oh, that's not Bloomfield, New Jersey. That's another Bloomfield. Okay, let me choose, Bloomfield. here we go. All right, perfect, all right. So yeah, that's good. I'm gonna choose a couple of those and I'll click done. And so I've got one at Bloomfield, a bunch of Montclair, perfect. So I'm gonna save changes. And now those changes are saved. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to my website. And when I go to my website, what you'll see is, as soon as this fills in, you will see uh, the new listings. Now that headline, um, beautiful new listings, it actually doesn't show up on the site, it actually shows up on the app. And I'll show you um, what it looks like when it's in the app. So here it looks really nice on the website. Now on the app, let me open that up for you uh, on my computer because I actually do have the app on my computer. It shows up in a really cool way on your app for your consumers. So you click on saved and 
we're going to want to view our recent collections and we scroll down you're going to see your beautiful new listings on your app show up as a collection like how cool is that like your clients are always going to see them right so the app looks really terrible on my computer um because i have a chromebook and it's like you know not a not a phone so it looks obviously distorted but i just want you guys to see that on your app your 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 feature listings actually show up as a collection so your clients always see it so what's super cool is that when you go on a listing appointment you can say hey when i take your listing my clients my hundreds or thousands of clients who have my app are always going to see your listing in their app right here in their saved searches now also on the website when you click saved and you go to collections and you view all it's always going to show up on the website in collections as well so the cool part about this is always on the app as a collection always on the site as a collection and always on the home page of the site and the value proposition to your seller clients are huge because it's always a saved search and your clients who are using the app can't ever escape it it's always going to be there so that's really how you add them guys it's super easy i hope that this was informative for you so uh go get to adding and uh you know have a good time with it let me know if you need anything we'll see you soon